In Burlington County, there's a controversy over a potential plan to close a volunteer fire department. That same department was suspended for three months back in 2021. Our Steve Keeley is live in Maple Shade tonight to explain. So exactly what's going on here, Steve? While all this is happening just six months after two little children died in a fire, just a four minute drive from the firehouse here, and that is the big thing. The residents are worried about what's gonna happen with the next fire. Maple Shade firefighters got their latest call in the rain tonight as they drove past some of the nearly 300 lawns in town that have these signs supporting the fire department. The community group that put out the signs plans a rally on Main Street here tomorrow morning. And today, Maple Shade's mayor and council released this two-page public statement saying they're, quote, aware of the recent efforts of the independent fire company number one to mislead the community about a just passed ordinance November 9th and what the impact will be if adopted. If they close on December 14th, when they plan to pass the ordinance to close the firehouse, there won't be a fire company in Maple Shade. Not so, say township leaders in today's statement. Quote, first and foremost, the residents of Maple Shade will never be without fire protection. The governing body and administration are actively working to strengthen and improve our relationships with our mutual aid partners to ensure their safety and welfare while operating in Maple Shade Township. An all-volunteer fire department, I would think that the township would have embraced uh, the volunteers that they do have here and work with us, but it just seems like uh, that they want control over it. The council statement says in time, the township will be able to comment further. However, due to pending litigation brought by the independent fire company against the township and certain employees, our comments must be limited. This all comes after a previous three month shutdown of the fire company just two years ago. Cost the taxpayers a lot of money and nothing changed. We were opened back up and put back in service and it was like it never happened. Well, the council and administration have also employed exhaustive efforts, the statement went on to say today, over the previous four years to get consensus with the township of the independent fire company here to professionalize and modernize fire protection in Maple Shade having been met with little to no willingness to work with the township. Don Jason, that next public hearing on that firehouse ordinance, December 14th, should be a packed house, probably coincidentally testing the limits of capacity of the fire code here in town. Mm. All right, Steve Keeley in Maple Shade. Thank you, Steve.